Uh, here in Santa Maria, uh, at our ranches, we generally grow wine grapes. In wine grape management, our irrigation challenges really are just understanding what the vines use on a day-to-day -day basis and also understand when we do make an irrigation, how much of that water can be utilized by the vines. And we use uh, drip irrigation on all of our wine grapes and in selected areas because of frost, we do use overhead sprinklers for frost control in the spring. These vines have two half gallon emitters on them and uh, we put one on each side of the vine. And these were irrigated yesterday, so you can see there's still some soil moisture. Yeah, this is healthy, sandy soil. This is what you would want to see after a three or four hour irrigation yesterday. Uh, we chose JIP because it's really the, the leading way to irrigate in wine grapes in California. We use our drip hose and drip emitters mainly from Netafim. It's really the leading edge. It up gives us the ability to use the water we have available very efficiently, as well as the ability to make variable applications on a daily basis. We calculate how much water the vines are using on a daily basis, depending on their growth stage. Uh, we try to understand the soils and what water is available. And then we use tools like soil sensors and tensiometers to understand what's available uh, in that, from that water that we've applied. We call this just a bit a little bigger than BB size. It's after fruit set. And um, in the next 20 or 30 days, we'll start seeing some softening. This is Chardonnay. Netafim has always been able to service its growers and give us any kind of answers that we need and put us in contact with anybody that will help us grow better if it's irrigation related or not.